Okay, so in the previous videos, I talked about testing hypotheses about a single parameter. And in the previous videos, I was talking about how to test a hypothesis about a combination of these parameters. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the overall significance of regression model. And sometimes the focus of our analysis would be to know whether all of these variables as a group have any impact on Y. That is, we'll test whether each of these coefficient value is equal to zero. So our null hypothesis would be none of these variables have any impact on the Y variable. That is X1 x2 up to xk they do not explain any variation in y and obviously our alternative would be h0 h is not true so in this case we will be estimating two models we're going to estimate our unrestricted model which will contain all the variables and then we're going to regress a model with only the intercept in it and we are going to impose all these restrictions on this model so we are going to estimate these two models and then we are going to use the same formula that we discussed earlier to know whether our calculated f value it is less than or greater than the critical value and if our calculated value is greater than the critical value then we're going to reject our null hypothesis and conclude that at least one x variable is a significant determinant of y so this will be our conclusion. So this is very helpful uh, because in some of the situations we may be interested in knowing that all independent variables are jointly significant or not. And whenever you regress any model in R, R reports so this F statistic with the regression output. So this is the model where we're explaining prices in terms of the assessed price, lot size, squared fit, and bedroom size. And again, R is regressing two models. One, it is regressing this whole model, and then it is regressing a model with only the intercept in it by imposing the restriction that none of these variables are statistically significant. And then using the same formula that I showed you earlier, it is calculating this F stat value. And what we can do is we can um, calculate the critical value using this function QF. And the first argument is our level of significance. The second argument is the number of restrictions. And in this case, there are four of them. And the final argument is the degrees of freedom, which is 83. So we can calculate the F value, which is 3.55. And our calculated value 70, it is much larger than our critical value. So we're going to reject the null hypothesis that all of these variables are jointly insignificant in explaining variation in house prices. And we are going to conclude that at least one of these is statistically significant. Okay, so that is how you test for the overall significance of a model. In the next video, I'm going to talk about more general restrictions on a linear regression model. I'm going to use this example to show you more general restrictions on any regression model. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.